Sam Bradford won. <laughs> and if I recall correctly, not one person on this panel voted for him. <clears throat> so we have that going for us, which is something. Apologize to Sam the man, Mariotti. I'll apologize to Sam because the media are, are just too immersed in politics, whether it's the BCS or now today about which geographical region voted for Tebow against Bradford, against McCoy. Enough of that. Let's celebrate Bradford. Humble speech. Thanked his teammates, his parents. Uh, a wonderful evening again in New York. And a guy who really didn't get enough hype over the course of the year, Tony. I mean, somebody had to pull that trigger. Everybody knew what was coming in Oklahoma. They threw the football. And Sam Bradford only made a handful of mistakes all year long. And, and okay. I think we need to applaud He's getting this the hype Trophy right now. winner he and not the take away from <laughs> Jay, what the others. he doesn't need your apology. He won the trophy. But I feel very passionate about this. I think the southwest part of the country should apologize to Tim Tebow. He, obviously, wow. they weren't watching the SEC championship. This guy had won the great comebacks in the history of college football. Get he had a stretch. It. He had a stretch. It's my turn. He had a stretch of nine games, and they didn't even put him in the top. Top three, I'm sorry. Harrell had a great year. McCoy had a great year. Bradford had a great year. But Tebow, overall, got more first-place votes than all of them. And yet, the Southwest wouldn't even put him on their ballot. I think it was a travesty. Oh. I don't have to apologize all right. to Bradford. All right, all right. All right, all right. Stop. Stop yelling, all right? It's, I'm not passionate about this because it is the toughest vote that I have ever had myself, and I would suspect that people who have voted for 40 or 50 years would tell you it's the toughest vote ever. Four great candidates. Let's include Harold. Harold belongs right there with those other three. McCoy had a 77% percentage completion, had fewer weapons than the other two, and he could do it with his arm and his leg. Bradford threw for the million, billion, trillion yards and 48 touchdowns and six picks and, and engineered the greatest offense of modern times since Fielding Yost and, and the hurry-up uh, uh, Michigan team of 1902. And then you so. got Tebow, who may be the best leader, as they say, in the history of college football. They're all great candidates. There's no reason to get upset, okay? And you throw in Harold. Okay. I, something it. just happened. I thought it would never happen. Bob, Bob Ryan right. asked us to stop yelling on this He's show. right. He's always right. He's, a, no, he's, he's not always right. He's advancing into the showdown now, today. and you're going to... See right now who's more right, Mariotti or Ryan. First